Yeah. 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 Yeah
Google Hangouts that you guys had with um, Ifeda and Mark. Ifeda and Mark. So I was actually surprised to find someone who, was, who actually is doing something. Mm. Um, I've run into a couple of companies um, who are doing things, but um, some of them are much bigger, to be honest. Um, so there's a company who was meant to be here as well. They make um, outdoor casing for the telecom sector. But I'll say we're not seeing as much as we have the capacity to produce in, in Nigeria. And we hope and believe that this will be the trigger for seeing more of this in, in, in the country. I'm really happy that you said that because one of the things I wanted to ask is, you know, what happens after now? And I've seen some of the things that people are working on, I'm really excited by smart bus and the ability to uh, get a sense of where buses are and what they're doing and that way people can make more informed decisions. Uh, some guys over there were talking about making remote sensing and control systems that will allow you to say turn on your TV while you're driving on Third Midland Bridge or, or something. It's, uh, uh, I'm beginning to hear like interesting applications but uh, what happens after the hackathon, uh, you know? Do you want to go first? I'll go first. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <The lady. laughs> um, so that's a very important question. And that's a goal I, I mentioned before that we want to see it growing. We want to actively make it grow. And part of that is making sure the ideas of the participants can also grow. Um, we'll have, so we have, a, um, for the first winner, First price, we have one million um, naira price money sponsored by Access Bank that's supposed to go towards the development, the further development of the idea. Yeah, so they've called it the Access Innovation Fund, essentially. Fantastic. You know, one million naira for the winning team. Yeah. yeah. And then we have a um, very interesting group of mentors, international mentors, who offer to remotely their. Did I say international? I said international. Yeah. <laughs> who offer to uh, remotely mentor the teams. Um, so that's for the three winning team, they get their mentorship, and then it's us on the ground. Um, and we want to help to our best capacity um, to help them in whatever way they need help with the business aspect of things, helping them bring it to the market. Yeah. Um, and helping them connect them yeah. with the right people as well, because in this whole process of setting up the event, we've been talking to people. So depending on the idea, depending on their needs, we'll be connecting them with the right people. So the good thing about mentors is we've got like a, a good mix. So there are Nigerians who actually do hardware stuff. Um, so some of them are abroad. So we've worked for companies like Intel, like Google. Like um, we have a mentor as well from Y Combinator. We have some that are like researchers in universities. So we have a good um, team of people to help them on the technical side because we also understand that it's difficult to get um, the products to life. Uh, to, to, to life, essentially. Uh, so it, it, the incubation period could take quite a while. So it's good to have that team of mentors to help. And we'll be on ground to support them, helping them to take that product from work from this prototype and help it iterate and evolve until it, it's actually something that can be put on the shelf. Um, so we've got a product actually we call Thermix to Launch, which will be applied to this cohort of, um, of um, to whoever wins or anyone that has a promising product and also is willing to go through that um, the rigor of that program, and we believe that at the end we'll have one or two great ideas that eventually, in a few months, we can we'll find on the shop. Fantastic. So speaking of being on the ground, um, I understand that this is TDI's space where we're currently in, Correct. and you will be around for a while. You know, so you want to speak to you know your ongoing activities and how those will play out <laughs> again within the context of the larger nascent maker mm -hmm. space and culture in Nigeria. So like I said, we, we've got the Terex launch program. So one of the things we'll be doing is we'll be, we'll be helping startups or helping organizations launch products within their organizations. So we, we'll take them through that program, and that's one thing we'll, we'll be doing. The other thing we'll be doing is we are also very active, um, hands-on people. We do things outside of TDI. So we have a few companies we basically incubate within the TDI space. Uh, so one, one of them is an art company, one of them is a fintech company, the other is an animation studio. So we're very very busy with those as well. And apart from that, we'll be doing quite a bit of consulting for organizations, helping them to just squeeze out the creative juices, um, get them to be a little more productive, help them to launch products, processes, and all that. And then we'll be open to anyone who is interested in applying design thinking to, to products. I was just going to ask about you know how people access the space, you know, 
interested people in? Do you just walk in or is there like a website? <laughs> that's, why, that's why we're so excited that we're located here within Cree because yeah. it's such a fantastic central location and people walk in to have a great cup of coffee. Yeah. And, um, that's how we met you. Yes, absolutely. Um, <laughs> so that's what, yeah, that's one of the many things we love about being here. Um, and yeah, we're always open to talk to people, to talk to, I mean, this is how this idea grew. It's like people were interested, you grew to something bigger, people offer their help. Um, and that's what we're going to do. We see ourselves as the capitalists, and then we need everybody else, and we want to um, become part of that ecosystem and collaborate to, it's one of the main um, beliefs of design thinking that collaboration is um, everything. Um, so yeah, anybody who wants to, who happens to grab a coffee at Captain Neon on Agora Neon, come say hi. Nice. And nice. check us out on www.lagos.design. Lagos Design. Lagos Design. Love the love the URL. <laughs> Fantastic, pretty cool. Free. Okay, let's come back to Lagos Labs 2016. What are you expecting to see tomorrow at 10 a.m.? So we're expecting to see awesomeness. Awesomeness. Tired guys, but they've got some energy within them to present some of their great, um, amazing products. Um, so and then yeah, we see someone walk away with the one million naira, naira prize. On price. And bragging um, rights. Bragging rights. Lots of bragging rights. I think, I don't think there's any one of them actually that is not a winner in its own right. Obviously, I'm sure some, there has to be just one winner, right? Any one of them can potentially become very, very successful. Um, and then, so yeah, so we're all, looking beyond tomorrow, looking at seeing things make it to the shelf, looking at products launched, looking at products evolve, iterate. Um, so that we now have many more examples of, of products that have been created by Nigerians in Nigeria uh, to solve our own problems. I'm so excited. So we can to buy Niger to grow the Niger. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So this, 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 this is a product example. Something yeah. that, you know, from cradle to like, well, not cradle. Absolutely. Well, well, yeah, yeah. Scratch, yeah. Design. Homegrown solutions. Homegrown stuff. Uh, solving our problems. One of the first things I'm going to do after this event is exchange some of our slides with new Nigerian examples of that's pretty cool. That's yeah. what we're yeah. <laughs> pretty cool. Pretty cool. It was great to talk to you guys. Talks a lot. Thank you very much.